I've been reading books of old, the legends and the myths, Achilles and his gold, Achilles and his gifts, and Spider-Man's control, and Batman with his fist. And clearly I don't see myself upon that list But she said, where'd you wanna go? How much you wanna risk? I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gifts Some superhero, some fairy tale bliss Just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss I want something just like this do -do 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 -do. I'll 
Across the bar, my seat's been taken by some sunglasses Asking about a scar and I know I gave it to you months ago I know you're trying to forget But between the drinks and subtle things The holes in my apologies, you know I'm trying hard to take Hello class of 2019 slash 2020 In the words of the late tech genius Steve Jobs Your time is limited Don't waste it living someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma, which is the result of living other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinion drown your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They truly know what you want to become someday. Everything else is secondary. I believe I speak for most, if not all, when I say the first day of school here, whether it was in fifth grade or seventh grade, was quite frightening. Seeing so many new faces for the first time was so overwhelming. However, those faces would soon become some of our greatest friends. I'm sure most of you, if not all, have built long-lasting friendships amongst one another, since we have all been through so much together. The last couple of months towards graduation have been quite challenging due to the ongoing pandemic. Who would ever have predicted this would have happened? However, we have never wavered from this challenge. Despite the impact of all this on us, we are still moving forward with important knowledge and morals that we have learned from this school. Although the future is uncertain at this point, I know one thing for sure. We are all better off now due to this school. Now that the junior high school phase of our lives is complete, let us move forward in the world as we continue to strive towards achieving our goals and aspirations. As we shall soon move on to our respective high school schools, we must remember that we got to our current state by showing up, doing the work, and being our very best by Darren Juby. That being said, it was not always easy, but our constant struggle and strive is what has turned us into the wonderful people we are today. All I can say is thank you, Arthur Elites, for providing us with the platform to excel and preparing us for the next phase of our lives. Dream big class of 2019-2020. Hello, friends, teachers, and parents. I'm honored to have the opportunity to commemorate the wonderful memories of my classmates and schoolmates over the years. I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that I can't express how grateful I am to the students, teachers, and administrators of Arthur Leach. Every school year, we would walk into a classroom filled with strangers and the unexpected, but it would always work out. It felt like I'd known them for a lifetime after only a few months. We found friends who share the same interests, incredible students and teachers whom we looked up to, and most importantly, an amazing community of welcoming and supportive people. Whether you began in grade 5, 6, or 7, it was new and fun. Grade 8 was chaotic and confusing, and grade 9 was challenging to say the least. However, the latter half of this year was truly special. I'm sure that none of us had expected to spend it entirely in our rooms. But as Eleanor Roosevelt once said, if life were predictable, it would cease to be life and be without flavor. As much as we enjoyed learning about how the mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the cell, the most pleasant memories I recall are the many achievements we collectively reached. For example, it might have taken us three years of squeaking our own instruments, but I'm proud to say that the Arthur E. Leach Grade 9 Band managed to win gold for our spring festival. One of the biggest events that we missed out on must be the musical. We've all seen how invested and diligent the entire cast was. It was clear those extra hours and even weekends they put in paid off. The climate rallying was exciting and crowded. It's a relief that so many others also care about the environment. And of course, who could forget the plastic duck hunt that spread like wildfire? They became the diamonds of the school in a matter of weeks. My fondest memories, and others as well, were made in this peer tutoring program. The program is probably one of the school's best, as it helps students who want extra help, teaches the tutors how to work well with others, and lets the tutors gain experience in explaining problems and solutions. Everyone has achieved such remarkable feats during our time here, 
like the volleyball and basketball teams, the jazz band, and all the events the Student Action Club has set up for us. They've inspired me countless times with their attitude and their unwavering commitment to their work. To the faculty members and staff, thank you for your support through these years. To our family and friends, we give gratitude for the love and patience you've given us. And to all the graduates whom I've come to know and I respect, congratulations, you've earned it. We will be the future professors and lawyers, physicians and musicians, and artists and athletes alike. I hope we can grow from both the good and the awful events that occurred this year. Let us work together to achieve even greater things in the future. Thank you. Um, join as many clubs and groups as you possibly can because high school goes by so fast. And really, it's the only time in your whole life you're ever going to be in such a huge amount of students and people your own age all in one place, learning together. So enjoy. And my favorite memory, well, it would be like watching you all grow up from when you were small to where you are now. And I'm proud of all of you, and I love you all. Hello, grade nine class of 2020 from Arthur A. Leach. Ms. Dunford and I are here, socially distant. Uh, certainly not the way that we wanted to say farewell to this year's class, but as we all know, life has changed a little bit. You, uh, you are going off into a incredibly new world, exciting adventures as you move on to high school. And we are here to say goodbye and farewell and wishing you all the best. Again, we really wish we were seeing you in person, but as you reflect on your time at Leach, Remember the things that brought you joy, whether that be the musical, the athletic events, band concerts, um, the lunch clubs, or maybe even math class. Um, and remember the friendships that you made and the you know, staff and students that you met. Um, and think about the times that maybe built resilience and character. Things like the suspended classes or the ongoing construction in the building. Um, and those are all the things that made you who you are today and made you the people that I'm so grateful to have met and worked with for the past two years here at Leach. Resiliency is the word of the year. This is uh, like nothing we have ever experienced. You are gonna be stronger because of it. You are gonna have a new perspective of life, a new appreciation of life and the world around us. So we wish you nothing but the best as you move forward into your high school career. And don't forget us. We'll, oh, you'll always have a little piece of leech in you as it helps shape who you are. All the best as you move forward and have a wonderful summer. Farewell. Hello, Arthur A. Leach class of 2020. I am sure by now you are feeling a mixture of emotions, relief, anxiety, sadness, joy. And I'm also sure this is not how you thought your time at Leach was going to end. None of us did, but here we are. I'm not sure if it's comforting or not, but you are not alone. When you are older, you will remember your grade nine COVID farewell like no other class before you. But keep in mind, this is not grad. That is still coming, and three years from now, things will undoubtedly look very different. The only thing in life you can actually count on is change. Things always change. How you embrace or adapt to change will impact your success. But the first step is acceptance. You may have heard this before, but I'm going to share something with you. It's called the serenity prayer. I'm going to leave out the God part so we can have it inclusive for all faiths. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You all have the courage and the wisdom will come with age. It will, even though you can't see it right now. I'm also gonna leave you with one more wish. Another one of my favorite quotes, this one from A.A. A. Milne, who, if you don't know, created Winnie the Pooh. Who, for a bear, was actually very wise. And here's what he said. You are braver than you believe. You are stronger than you seem. And you are smarter than you think. If you only remember one thing when you leave Leech, I really hope you remember that. 
I will miss all of you, and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations. Hello, grade nines. Just wanted to wish you congratulations as you head off to high school. Wish I could be there in person, uh, but I want to take this moment to say that I, I've thought of you uh, over the years. Uh, hard to believe that not too long ago you were grade five students walking into my classroom. Um, I want to take this moment just to give you a little bit of advice as you head off to high school. My advice is to get involved, to join a club, to join a committee, try courses that you might never thought that you'd want to take. You never know where these opportunities may take you, right? Most of all, believe that you are capable, believe that you can do it. If you run into difficulty, ask for help, right? I believe in you. I know that you're going to make a difference in the world and you're always on my mind. Congratulations and good luck as you enter into high school. Bye. Hi there, graduating grade niners. Uh, so a funny memory I have, uh, those of you that were in my grade seven class, you know that we have all sorts of very funny memories of that time. Uh, I'll let you guys quietly reflect on those. Uh, the advice that I have for you guys going into uh, grade 10, uh, success is not about being smart. Success in school is about doing the work. So find out what your teachers want from you, get it done, and you'll be fine. Good luck. Hey, grade nines, it's Miss Mascus here. I just wanted to take a minute and just congratulate you on finishing your grade nine year at Leech. I'm just sitting here, you know, with all my stuff um, and just thinking about the old times and teaching grade seven and teaching you guys um, just having so much fun in grade seven. And I wanted to share some of my favorite memories, which um, even like up until this year, I have great memories with you guys. You guys are an awesome group. Um, right from the get-go. One of my favorite memories from grade seven is winter activity day. Uh, and it was like minus 40, <laughs> no one else went. And we went, and honestly, I had such a good time at that winter activity day. And um, just some other like great memories, just coaching all the teams. Most of you guys I've coached or I've seen you play or um, just seeing you guys grow as players and even watching you when you've come to other schools to play. I'm just so proud of you guys and the way that you carry yourselves. Um, I know that you guys just represent me so well, the students that I've coached and taught. And it's just so nice to see you all. And um, just the German exchange, those students, you know, we had such a great time. That's something that is definitely a highlight of my career so far. And just in terms of high school, and I just want to give a little bit of advice. My advice to you in high school is just try everything. Um, just try it once and just see if it's for you. And if it's not, you don't have to keep doing it. Um, meet lots of people, be kind to everybody and you'll have a blast in high school. If junior high is fun, high school is a hundred times more fun. Um, but take every single opportunity that you can in high school and come and visit. You guys know where I am, but if some of you come to the nearby high school to me, um, you're always welcome to come in, stop in and say hi. You know that I'll be here and I'll be coaching most likely till late at night. So take care and good luck to you all in high school and keep in touch. Cheers. Good luck in grade 10, everybody. Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood, Miss Perlov with my pal Horatio here for a little message for the incredible group of grade nines from Arthur A. Leach this year. This is certainly not the school year that we planned and I wanna congratulate all of you on your incredible resiliency and fortitude to get through this and come out on the other side of it. I've had the pleasure of teaching a lot of you over the years, even if it was in grade seven drama. And I know that you are an incredible group of young people with excellent futures on the horizon. Don't forget that you can do anything that you put your mind to and set your heart to. And I can't wait to see the incredible things that you all do with your lives and your futures. My little bit of advice for the future is to make sure that you have time for fun and play and being silly and creatively expressing yourself because having laughs and having good times is gonna be a great way to balance out the stresses that come in your future. 
Don't be afraid to play, even when you get old and gray. <laughs> a huge shout out to 9-5, my excellent, awesome homeroom, and to my grade nine drama class. Um, I love all of you guys so much, uh, and I know that you're going to do incredible things in the future, and I'm always here for you if you need anything. Take care, and congratulations on making it through this year. You guys rock. Oh, hi, great nines. Ms. Shevchik here. What a year 2020 has been. One that none of us will forget. I know one thing for sure is that your grade nine group has some of the best leadership qualities that I've ever seen before. Keep up the great work and continue leading the way into high school. Now going into high school, I hope that you try new activities, new sports, new clubs, events, opportunities that arise. You never know where they may lead. To finish off, I'd like to present one of my favorite quotes by hockey legend, Wayne Gretzky. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yes. Congratulations, Lazarus. You made it. All the best in high school and beyond. Ms. Shevchuk. Hi, grade nines. Ms. Faye here. I just want to wish you all the best as you move over to the high school. I just want to say that you are a very gifted generation. You have so much knowledge and energy, and I'm certain that you're the generation who will be the change makers we've been waiting for. When you get to high school, find your passion and learn to love it and live it and love your uniqueness and embrace it and come back and visit sometime. Bye. Hi, grade nines. I wanna say congratulations to all of you for finishing up your time here at Arthur A. Leach. You've been a really fun group to teach. Uh, I think you're all great people and I look forward to seeing what comes next for you in high school. Um, my advice going on to your next chapter would be try absolutely everything. If you wanna try a new sport, try a new sport. If you wanna try debate club, try debate club. Get involved in as much as you can at your new school because you only get one opportunity to go through high school, so make the most of it. Um, I hope you all have a great summer, a fantastic start to your next school year, and I wish you all the best of luck. Wow, what a resilient bunch you are to have made it through this year. With so many historical things happening around you, um, from the construction of the building to, to having to adapt to that and then having to again change and adapt to of course the at-home learning process you should feel very proud of yourselves to have made it to the end of this year as you move forward and leave leech to head to your new high school home my advice to you the farewell class of 2020 is to continue to persevere and to enjoy all that your high school years have to offer it truly is a magical time that you will remember forever Try something new, stay true to yourself, stand up for what's right and for what you believe in, and listen to your heart and you won't go wrong. I wish you all the best moving forward and never forget. Don't stop believing. Bye. Go to all grade nine Arthur A. Leach students. As the school year of 2019-2020 comes to an end, I'd like to wish you all the best as you transition into high school. I uh, hope you have made some amazing memories through your junior high years here. Obviously this year, 2020, is one that you will not forget. You had some great times this year and maybe you had some tough times, but you did it and you succeeded. You're ready for that next step. So I ask you to take this opportunity to dedicate yourself to make every year better than the one before. Remember, you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing even if no one is listen, looking. Study hard and remember that you're investing in yourself. And finally, don't be in too big of a hurry to grow up. These are some great times in your life. Don't rush past them. I'll leave you with a quote from a familiar author, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the one who'll decide where to go. All the best. Take care. Hey, grade nines. 
Well, it's been a very strange year, but you got through it. My advice to you as you head to grade 10 is keep your heads held high, read some books over the summer, keep writing, keep smiling, and wash your hands. Good luck. Congratulations to the 2020 grade nine graduates of Arthur Elite School. You made it. Your perseverance, patience, work, and thinking have paid off. Wishing you all the success in whatever you attempt to achieve. And remember, you are now certified Plexters and part of Plexomania. Congratulations to you all. It has been an incredible journey and I'm so proud of you, our grade nine students. You have all worked so hard and have made great progress thus far. We have shared many wonderful memories and have also had fun learning. You are indeed great lancers. You have taken charge, demonstrating commitment, honesty, attitude, respect, gratitude, and empathy. Though it's a small world and our path may still cross, I would like to wish you all the best in your future studies and endeavors. And always remember to be good ambassadors of your alma mater or to LH school. I will miss you all. Farewell. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Um, I guess um, it's time for me to film that video about the grade nine grads, right? Uh, yeah, well, what advice would I give to people going off to high school? Probably the same advice that I give to anybody, um, is that if you're in doubt about something, you, you should try to be kind about things. And if you're angry, um, maybe sleep on it a day or two before you send, hit send on that email or the message that you're gonna send. Um, you'll often find that after, 24 hours and a little bit of headspace and some time to sleep and think on things that um, you'll come at something from a different place and I think that is a rule that I wish that I had been taught earlier. Um, and as for favorite memories, I don't know, there were lots of them in 8.5 for those of you who are blessed enough to join us. Um, it will be, I'll miss seeing you guys in the school every day, I've missed seeing you guys since all of this happened, but um, all the best, um, come back and visit. Um, and uh, almost did. Okay, wait, I actually forgot like three things I was gonna say. Uh, first thing was Supergirl. Um, the second thing was the weird, what became a reading nook down in the science lab. Um, and the third thing were like random morning meetings. Eight five, you guys were the best. Okay, I know that, that I need to actually stop adding these or else this is going to go on forever. But like, I, I also wanted to say that like, um, for some people, high school is the best time of their life, but for some people, it's not. Um, and if you ever feel like that's the case, um, just know that you've always got somebody to like touch base with you, um, and people that will look after you. I mean, there's also people at the high school too, but just saying. Thank you, Grade Nights, for what's been an exciting, wonderful, and certainly memorable school year. Uh, remember to always try and do your best and uh, don't be afraid to ask for help when you need a hand. Enjoy your summer and uh, all the best and good luck next year in grade 10. Hey folks, uh, Mrs. Sisford here. Well, this was an unforgettable year. Some of the things we got to make were cream of mushroom soup or some prefer cream of potato soup with mushrooms taco salad, mac and marinara, mac and cheese, uh, pizza, chicken parmesan, fettuccine alfredo, chicken teriyaki stir fry, chocolate chip cookies a few times, pierogies, holiday baking, uh, chickpea curry with roti, fancy blueberry muffins, quesadillas, falafel pitas, pasta buffet, nutrition table buffet, and a taco bar. And how can we forget the breakfast burritos that we made every single day? Looking back, I realized we made quite a bit of food, um, but there was just so much more I was hoping to do with you guys. It's too bad our time was cut short, but I hope you remember the fun we had, the memories we created, the music, and to always wash your hands. I hope you all develop some kitchen love. It's a great place to unwind, to create, to connect with others, and plus you get to eat some yummy food. 
I wish each of you health and happiness. Congratulations on surviving the year. And uh, I hope you always know that there's a place here for you at Arthur A. Leach. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye. The path of friendship dips and turns. But somehow it never ends, as long as faith and love are there within the heart of friends. Grade nines, know that you hold a very special place in my heart, and that as you embark on this new path for your future, I will think of you often and be wishing and hoping for the very best for each and every one of you. And as you embark on this future, Remember the friends that you've made here and the memories that you have made here at Leech. Enjoy them. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of grade nine. And much luck to you as you embark on your future endeavors. Hey, grade nines. Miss R here. Um, thinking of all of you, I know I miss you all and um, yeah, gonna miss going to your grad dance farewell party because always have fun doing that with you. Um, yeah, I just want to wish you all well. And if you ever get a chance to come by and see Mr. Arxie and I in the library, that would be great. Um, I have a little something I want to read to you. Um, it's called All In. It's by a, a special person named Nikki Banas and by a piece of literature called Walk the Earth. It doesn't matter what exactly you choose to do with your beautiful life, but I hope that whatever you choose, you go all in. I hope that you give it everything you've got every single day. I hope that you're not afraid to dig deep within yourself as you chase your dreams, and I hope that you chase them with as much passion and boldness as you possibly can. I hope you pour your entire heart into them and go to bed each night so proud of yourself because you knew you gave it everything you had, my beautiful friend. I hope you're not afraid to go all in with your one beautiful life. So to all you beautiful people, I wish you well, sending you all a big virtual hug. Um, much encouragement to follow through with your dreams and much love to you all. Be well, folks. Take care. Bye. Hello, grade nights. Well, I hope everyone is doing well despite our current situation. I assume many of you have been uh, busy uh, doing the assigned schoolwork. Hey, hey. Uh, but I'm sure you've also been occupied watching videos, listening to music while you work, uh, watching movies, playing video games. Um, I hope you haven't overlooked the hardworking, creative talent that goes into making each one of those pastimes. I hope you found new creative content uh, that has made your long, boring days uh, more enjoyable. And I uh, certainly hope that uh, you recognize and show support uh, to these creative artists uh, by giving them some of your hard-earned money. Uh, my first piece of advice to you as you move on to grade 10 uh, is just to make sure that you get involved. Uh, whatever your passion or your interest is, uh, put in the time, uh, practice, and, uh, and get really good at it. Uh, secondly, uh, don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be many opportunities uh, that await you at your new school, uh, and you're never going to regret uh, giving something your best shot. Uh, even if you don't succeed, uh, at least you can say that you, you tried it. Uh, lastly, uh, surround yourself with uh, the people who challenge you uh, and make you better. Uh, support each other and do great things. Uh, nothing makes me happier uh, as a teacher uh, than saying, hey, that student was in my class and look at the great things they've accomplished and look what they've made of themselves. Once a Lancer, always a Lancer. Take care. Hello, grade nine students from Martha A. Leach. Hope all is well. Um, you're moving on and moving into that next step of life of high school and then possibly post-secondary job work environment etc it's been a pleasant year i really enjoyed teaching my two classes of nine three and nine four for social studies and my leadership class and all my phys ed students as well as all the intramurals that we spent together this year with 
Um, just moving forward, this has been such an uncertain time and a trying time, and this is 2020 that you'll never forget moving forward. High school will bring new challenges. Um, remember, stay on top of your assignments. Uh, get them done uh, with quality, just not quantity. Timelines are a big thing to remember. Um, remember the title pages that we talked about. Uh, just enjoy your time at high school because believe it or not, um, it'll come and go faster than you can believe. Just like this year, I kept saying to the students in October, believe it or not, it's going to be Christmas right away, holiday break. And we blinked and it was. And then I said, report card and spring break is around the corner. Blink and there it was. And then we were on a long break with this COVID. Uh, I hope everybody's healthy, safe, and uh, really missed all of you uh, in these last few months. It just hasn't been a true teaching year for me and um, for you for a learning. Um, would have loved to have seen you all the way through till the end of June. but. Um, things like this sometimes happen and uh, this is outside of our control and outside of what we have done ever in the past. So something new for us and something new for you. And um, that's going to be high school as well. Something totally new. You're going to love some things and some things you're going to say, ooh, uh, maybe not so much, but that's part of life and part of growth and development. So hopefully you all have a successful, um, great 10 year. Have a great, safe and uh, enjoyable summer and get ready to work next year and uh, it's high school but uh, miss you all and uh, take care and I hope to see you all soon stop back anytime you like and please say hi have a great day take care and remember what make good choices hey green nines uh, for this farewell video I didn't want to be just plain so forewarning this video contains a few points I know it's been three months since we last saw each other and we moved on to the online learning so, just so you know, I've been bored. I couldn't have been more thrilled with the year that we actually had together though, uh, especially with all the laughs. I will especially remember the times where we were around this first table and we had to compose ourselves because we couldn't stop laughing. I know this year didn't finish how we expected, but if you only saw all the work that has been accomplished in these past three months, you know we just turned out just fine. As you head off to high school, my major piece of advice is do not be afraid to ask the bus driver where the bus is actually going, so you don't end up on the opposite side of the city. That may have happened to me my first week of high school. Second piece of advice is take advantage of the opportunities. There are so many out there, whether it's a new club, elective, sport, or just a random event. Take advantage, who knows, you might fuel a new passion. Another phrase that always sticks out to me is once a Lancer, always a Lancer. A wish for me, for you, is that you remember the community of Lancers around you and you stick together. Keep the small world connection alive with your fellow Lancers as the years go on and please do not hesitate to visit because we already miss you and it's only been three months. That's all for now my minions. Farewell and well if this video didn't break your day hopefully my clothes did. Nailed it! Do you remember in grade seven you helped me build that dry river swell at the back of the school over there on the Markham side. Think back. Remember digging out that 150 foot by four foot wide trench in the blazing hot sun while teachers were watching through their windows. We shoveled about 12 yards of rock. Whew, that was a lot of work. But I was really impressed with your work ethic and your, your ability to work together as a team. It's a bit overgrown these days with weeds and grass, but it was built with purpose. We built it because, well, you cared about the environment, the land and the water, and we also built it in tribute to the, the people from Shoal Lake 40 that gen generously give their water. The lessons were meant for you to see that everything and everyone matters and that we are all interconnected. So I want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors and uh, hope that we stay connected. Take care. Bye.
certainly isn't the way that I would have wanted to say goodbye to you, but here we are. Um, I know that many of you are probably disappointed about the things that you lost this year and the things that you missed out on, and it's completely okay to be disappointed. This is an unprecedented time for us all, and whether you are disappointed or relieved, uh, excited or nervous, the way that you feel is valid and important. Uh, I know that you probably feel like you've lost things this year, and you have, but I want you to think about some of the things that you've gained as well. You've gained a new appreciation for seeing your friends, for high fives and for hugs, for contact sports, for live music events, and for large group gatherings. You've gained technology skills far beyond any generation before you. You've gained independent skills, time management skills, and communication skills because you had to to continue your learning from home. Maybe you've learned more about world events, about global health issues, human rights, and equality and justice from watching the news. Maybe you learned how to protest. Maybe you've gained new skills at home, like cooking or cleaning or babysitting. Maybe you've picked up a new hobby that you've never done before. I, for one, started up cross-stitching because I am an old lady and it's super fun. Um, Maybe you just burned your way through that Netflix show that you've been meaning to watch and you've gained a new appreciation for relaxation and solitude and stillness. You've also seen the world change around you in ways never seen before. Your adaptability, your perseverance, and your strength is going to make this generation a powerhouse. You are the leaders of the future, and you're going off to high school with a set of skills that nobody could have predicted and nobody has ever seen before. You are going to take the world by storm. I hope that you go off to high school knowing that we believe in you here at Arthur A. Leach and that you will always have a home here. Please come back and visit because we cannot wait to see what the future has in store for you. And I'm sending you all of my love and my congratulations to the Lancer class of 2020. Congratulations and you earned it. Hello, grade nines of Arthur A. Leach School. Mr. Juby and Mr. Elton here wishing you all the best and sending greetings from sunny St. James, Manitoba. And just wanted to reminisce. We've been reminiscing about some of the great memories we have with you guys. Uh, Track and field. All the athletics that uh, we watched you do and cheered you on. All the work you did in the classrooms. Yeah, and, and just being outstanding young citizens and hoping that you're having a great end to the year although it's very different from what we're used to but wishing all the best all those creative arts all those concerts all that great stuff you guys did we really appreciate it we enjoyed it great memories as mr outen says don't forget if you went to uh, germany with me don't forget the 10 10 rules to live by they're the travel rules and uh we know when you go to high school you're going to show up do the work. the work. Oh yeah, where's the other hand? <laughs> Do the work <laughs> and be your best. And never forget, once a Lancer, always, always a Lancer. Lancer. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.